In this video, we'll look at the use and effect of the PWM and proportional gain settings. We'll also review how we set CPD and Ackerman up. It would be useful to review the PWM explanation videos and the one on manual configuration before continuing. For this, we'll be using a small motor, an all-in-one with a Citron, and this little board will emulate a wheel angle sensor. So, the first thing I'm going to do is engage drive mode. This is all on the default settings, and of course it won't be good. Pay attention to these figures, set, is where AOG says the wheels should be pointing, act is where they are actually pointing, and air is the difference between the two. Straight away, you can see the motor turns very fast, even with a small amount of error, less than half a degree. So, let's begin. On this page, when I turn the wheel angle sensor to the right, the green bar goes left and vice versa, so we need to invert it. We select that, and send the change to the board. Now, we'll turn the sensor all the way to the right, and it reads 68 degrees. We'll aim for a more realistic 40, so we change the CPD until the angle is in that area. Now we turn all the way to the left and tune Ackerman until it reads similar to CPD. We're close enough at 41.1. Obviously if this were a real tractor, the maximum steering angle would be past the steering limit, so we lower that so we don't hold steering against the pressure relief valve. So now we engage drive again and with a set angle below zero, and the actual at 0 0.3, we can see the motor is turning very fast and if we only needed to steer that minor correction, it would be bad turning the wheel so fast. So let's look at our PWM settings. If you've watched the Understanding PWM video, you will know how the output PWM is calculated but to remind, the error is multiplied by the proportional gain, and then the minimum is added. In this example, 0.3 times 40 is 12, and add the minimum of 40, and you get an output of 52. If we bring minimum PWM down to 20, then it's 12 plus 20 which is 32. We'll move the wheel angle sensor over a little so it's above 1 degree and lower proportional gain to 1. Now, 1 times 1.4 is 1.4, plus 20 is showing 21, AOG rounds the display as shown so it's an integer. In my case, the wheel was turning in the wrong direction, so I inverted the motor direction, then send and save. Minimum PWM should be set to a value just below that which makes the motor start to turn or the valve start to open and to work out this figure, we set proportional to 1 so the multiplier is negated. Please note that your tractor should be moving while you set this, as it's easier to turn the steering when moving than when sat still. Find a clear open space and be mindful of your environment. Now, we drop the minimum PWM to 1. At this point, I can hear the motor whining as it starts to try and turn, but of course, such a low value doesn't have the power to overcome the motor's own internal friction. As I bring the minimum up, the noise remains, but it's still not turning. At 15, we can see that it's just starting to come to life, but again that stickiness persists. At 18, it's turning smoothly. Notice however as we bring it down to 15 from 18 it keeps going. That's because the initial turn has overcome that friction and thus it needs less power to keep going. If I take it down to 14 or 15, this would make an ideal minimum. So, what would happen if we set our minimum too high? Here we can see that a small steering error will result in a high amount of initial steering, so we can't make a small correction. And if we set minimum too low, then the error has to build up and up, before the initial friction of the motor is overcome, and it can start to turn.
Here, increasing the proportional gain to compensate would be the wrong thing to do as all it ensure is the steering comes in hard when it eventually arrives. Now let's look at proportional gain. If the purpose of minimum to move is to state the amount required to overcome the friction and start turning, then proportional gain's role is to accelerate the steering the further you are away from the required steering angle. If you are close to the required set steering angle, then steer slowly, if you are far away, then steer quicker, and slow as you near the required set angle. Let's set our actual wheel angle to around 10 degrees. With a proportional gain of 5, we multiply by the error and get 50. We add the minimum at 14, and our output is of course 64. A good starting figure for proportional gain for a real machine would be around 20. Watching the output PWM figure is a great way to learn about your steering. If you are overcorrecting when close to the line, then your output PWM is too high. This is either because your minimum is so high that the machine is always steering, or your proportional gain is so high that minor steering errors are multiplied or amplified. If we raise our proportional too high, we can see that we have removed the ability to make minor steering corrections as the wheel has no option but to turn fast. You can see as we make minor corrections with the steering angle, that the motor is turning very quickly and thus you would be constantly overshooting the line, back and forth, unable to make small adjustments. Of course, if proportional gain is too low, then the motor is steering very slowly even at high angles of steering error and in this case, it would take a long time to make your steering correction. So, to review, you should look to set the minimum PWM as just below the amount to make the vehicle start steering. This should be set with proportional gain temporarily at 1. Proportional gain should then be increased, while driving a line, to bring a balance between overshooting the line and taking too long a time to get there. And that's the end of this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. See you next time.